So good afternoon, everyone. I am Franco Okapa of BS Chemistry 2H1. So my topic was under the bittersweet life in the event of resolve. So the last part is goodbye the pitan. In 1895, Ferdinand Blumentritt informed Rizal that Cuba was raged by a yellow fever epidemic. Cuba was also a country that was colonized by the Spaniards at that time. Also, Blumentritt suggests that Rizal to volunteer to Cuba, Cuba, Cuba to compromise with the shortage of the physicians there. So, so in 1895, on December 17th, Rizal wrote to then the Governor General Ramon Blanco, volunteering to provide medical services in Cuba. But after a few months of no reply from the Governor General, Rizal lost his interest on this request. But in 1896 of March, Rizal received a letter from the Governor General Ramon sanctioning his request. By that, Rizal immediately prepared for his leaving to Manila and yes, so in the late afternoon of July 31, Rizal, together with Josephine, Narcisa, Anise, named Angelica, three nephews, and three of his students got on Hispania, the ship. So, adios, Dr. Rizal. The, the, the people in Tapitan shouted at the Rizal. And Rizal replied, Adios, the Peter. So, in the late midnight, uh, in the midnight of July 31st, on Jer Rizal wrote on his diary, I have been in the district four years, 13 days, and a few hours. So, Rizal was condemned to the Peter. Four years, 13 days, and a few hours. But his days in the Pitan was not like a feeling when you were in prison. But he, um, he helped many, he helped a lot of people there. So, yes. And by that, before we proceed to the uh, the next chapters. Let me have some of my personal photos when we visited in Japitan last August 2018. I think that's right. So, in this first picture, it is the house inside of the house of Rizal. So, this girl is Josephine. By the way, the personnel that was assigned in the on the house said that their their things were was so was the one that Rizal used. It, it is antique, yes. And this this is the clinic of Rizal. Um, I think this is the hexagon one. One, two, three. Hexagon or yeah, or octagon. Hexagon or octagon shape. Yes, this is the 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 clinic of Rizal. This is the the sea sea water seashore. So inside, inside, so inside in the Rizal shrine is a Rizal museum. So this is um, the the real. Um, this is not a replication of 
some things of results thing medical med medical things uh, yes and this hot 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 were results um a mini room for his guest yes uh, this is the house of result yes this was the house of result it's so nice visiting there so overwhelming yes and this is some letters i pictured on Rizal Museum. Yes, it was really handwritten. It was beautiful. Yes, it was so overwhelmed. So let's go to the next topic. From the Pitan to trial in Fort Santiago. So living in the Pitan for Manila in July 31st, 31st of 1896, Rizal made some step overs in the areas. So in Domagetti, 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 Rizal had visited some friends like a former classmate from Madrid and had cured a sick guardia, guardia civil captain. In Cebu, Rizal successfully performed an ophthalmic operation there. Yes, and in going to Iloilo, he saw the historical Mactan Island. He went shopping and he was impressed by the Molo Church in Iloilo. Then he got then the ship sailed to Capiz, to Romblon, and finally Manila. So in Manila, wait. So, in Manila, um, as España arrived in Luzon, there was an attempt of the Catiboneros to help Rizal escape. Emilio Jacinto disguised as a ship crew member to, to help him get close to Rizal, and he did, good, he did get close to Rizal, though. And also, Guillermo Masenkai, um, Guillermo Masenkai circled the ship with a boat, but, but Rizal was so kind that he never, he never go with Emilio Jacinto and Guillermo Masenkai because he really wanted to help people in Cuba. Yes, that's our hero, so kind. But there's another version of this story. It claims that the rescue at them happened when Rizal's ship was already docked at Manila Bay. So, August 6, 1986, Rizal arrived at Manila. A day after the mailboat Isla de Luzon had left for Spain. So Rizal didn't, didn't Rizal and the Isla de Luzon didn't go well. Huh? I got billions to Rizal. Oh my god, something. The billions to Rizal. Rizal was left out. Rizal was left behind by the ship oh my god I, uh, some think that it is really part of the drama but i don't know maybe so by this rizal requested the governor general that he wants to be isolated to the rest because maybe his life was in danger maybe his life was really in danger because he's a prisoner so exact so Rizal wanted to isolate himself and uh, but his family and immediate family could visit him so in August 19 
the revolt against the Spanish authorities by the Capitaneras lead by Bonifacio was discovered through the confession of the certain Teodoro Patino to Mariano Hill, Augustinian Cora of Tundo. So then the um the So on August 19, the revolt against the Spanish authorities by the Capitaneros to lead by Bonifacio was discovered through the confession of a certain Diodoro Patina to Mariano Hill, Agustinian Court of Tondo. This happened in this day, on this day, the Spanish authorities in this day, on this day, on that day, yes, no. on that day, August 19, happened the famous Punitin and Cedula. Yeah. So they tore their cedulas or their certificate of certificate, certificate of residence. So my god, the attention they're giving. So so hot. the war begins, my god. In August 29 and 30. Katipunan's first major assault happened when the Katipuneros attacked the civil guard, quite civil, garrison in Pasi, significantly the 100 Spanish Spanish, Spanish soldiers, soldiers, soldiers protecting the powder magazine in San Juan. Then that 150 Katipuneros were killed and more than 200 were taken to prison. Also, on the same day, August 30, Blanco issued a letter of recommendation, recommendation on the results behalf to the Spanish Minister of War and the Minister of Colonials, Colonels. So that, on August 30, result, Foundation. So, 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 mm, Governor General Blanco also really wanted result to help people in Cuba. And last September two, Rizal was transported to the ship Isla de Panay. Oh wait, I yes, for that wait, but I think. Mm, I remember when I said here the part, the part that that you remember the part that I say Rizal want to isolate King Sal. He was trans. Yeah, that part. He was transferred from from their ship to Castillo in Cavite, dock in Cavite, because they, they remember that. What did I say? Oh my god, my mind. My mind, my god. Yes, that he was also, he was isolated in Castillo because he was left out by the Isla de Luzon that was headed to Spain. So, everyone, I have a question. Do you think this? This drama, oh my god, my hair, but this drama, so it's like so in television, so dramatic. So, but and one thing that I learned from results experience in Pakistan is that he has really a pure heart. Pure heart, baby. Pure heart. That the, the Katipaneros wanted to rescue Rizal, but this girl's Rizal was so kind. Yeah, Rizal was so kind, and he wants to help people in Cuba. He, he yes, he didn't accept the, the rescues of. Katipuneros, Rizal, so 
I love you, baby. I love you, resolve. So I, I think that this is a lesson that people must be must also like resolve. We have to be kind, kind to everyone, and that's all. Thank you. The end. Again, it's me, Franco El Capo. Yeah, come straight to H1. That's all. Thank you.